All right, guys, in this video, I'm gonna briefly explain how an air conditioner works, and how a heat pump works. This particular unit's a package unit, meaning everything's outside the house, but the refrigeration process and the way the system works is the same. So on an air conditioner, you have two parts, the indoor and the outdoor. The outdoor part, you're gonna find the condenser coil, which is this part right here, and, on, and you're also going to find the condenser fan and down in below there's a compressor and all the other components. On the indoor part you're going to find a coil and if you have a split system where you have a condenser outside, an air handler or a gas furnace inside, that's going to be your indoor part where your blower is. So the way it works in air conditioning is an air conditioner does not make cold when you remove heat from something you're left with cold. The way it works is in air conditioning or cooling the refrigerant transforms from a liquid to a very cold vapor by means of an expansion device on the indoor coil either a TXV or a, a piston fixed orifice type of device. When that refrigerant transforms from a liquid to a vapor it gets cold and the indoor coil becomes cold now when the warm air from the building is pulled through or passes over that coil the refrigerant absorbs that heat and then transfers it outside to where it's condensed down back into a liquid and the heat that it absorbed is dumped to the outside that is why when you walk up to an air conditioner and hold your hand over the fan it's going to be blowing out warm air because that's all the heat that it absorbed from the inside so an air conditioner does not make cold it simply removes and transfers heat to the outdoors so the way a heat pump works is the outside basically becomes your evaporator coil and the inside becomes your condenser coil. There is heat energy in the outdoor ambient air down to about like zero degrees but a traditional air source heat pump like my unit here typically drops out at around 30 degrees. The colder it gets the less capacity it puts out or the colder it gets the less heat energy is in the air. So this becomes the evaporator, and that's where the cold gas is. So it's pulling in this cold air, and it's absorbing the heat energy in that cold air, and then it's transferring it to the inside. And the way it works is, on a heat pump, you have two metering devices. You have one for the outside, one for the inside, or one for heating, one for cooling. So this vapor, or cold, gas absorbs the heat and instead of dumping it to the outside it dumps it to the inside and warms up that indoor coil and when the cool air from the building passes over that coil it absorbs the heat energy and dumps it inside it's reverse cycle instead of pulling that heat from inside and taking it outside you're taking that heat from outside and putting it inside and the way that works is by reversing valve right there which switches the flow of refrigerant. Now in a heat pump it's an air conditioner running in reverse. That's cold air blowing out there's like 40 degrees out right now and uh, the reason an air conditioner freezes up is the same way in cooling that it um, also removes humidity from the indoor air as a byproduct when in air conditioning mode. That's why you see condensation dripping out of the condensate line on a warm summer's day. So when there's humidity in the air on the outside in wintertime when you're heating with a heat pump, that vapor is going to basically freeze on the coil just like an air conditioner makes, takes out humidity from the air on the inside. So the reason that coil freezes up is because this cold, moist air is hitting that coil 
and, it, and that coil is cold. So that it's basically frosting up and freezing up like an air conditioner would when you don't have enough refrigerant in the system or you have other problems. So this comes into play with the defrost cycle. Now a defrost cycle, you may notice the condenser fan shuts off, heat starts radiating out of the top, and ice starts melting or the frost starts melting on the outdoor core. It's an air conditioner then. Yes, it switches to air conditioning mode. It's pulling heat from the outside and instead of running like this and dumping it to the outside, that fan shuts off, this coil gets really hot and it melts that um, frost. Now, you also have pressure switches and stuff like that. That's ignored for like up to 12 minutes, but that's for a totally different video on how a defrost board works and the sequence of operation. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you all learned something. When it's a little bit warmer outside, I'll probably make a more in-depth video. But right now it's really cold, especially standing with this fan blowing all this uh, cold air on me. But anyways, I hope y'all learned something. Feel free to leave comments down below. I'll see y'all in the next video.